Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. Well, today is a big day. I'm officially starting the treadle hammer build. Today I'm going to weld up the anvil, which consists of a 700mm long section of 75 kilo per meter crane track. So it's like rail track, but much heavier section. So um, as you'll see in the video, it's a completely different profile to railway track, but still similar. Same kind of steel. So I'll be welding this to a 10 millimeter thick plate, which will mount it to the base plate for the overall construction process. This is gonna be some of the heaviest welding I've ever done. It's really gonna push the abilities of my welding and my welder. I will be using 7018 rods, which in Australia are marketed as Smooth Arc 18 by BOC Gases, with a pre and post heat of um, the rail and the plate to 250 degrees Celsius, which is 480 odd degrees Fahrenheit for those keeping track, with a packed slow cool. That slow cool is to help prevent stress and cracks from developing in the welds. I won't know how well I've succeeded in that um, until I'm actually using the hammer and whether there's any failures. It'd be lovely to have some x-ray equipment and check it out, but yeah, I don't. So, let's get this hot and let's get welding. So, I'm about to start cutting metal for the, um, the treadle hammer. So this is the base plate for what will be the anvil for the treadle hammer. I'm using a piece of crane rail which is going to have a bunch of holes drilled into the base and spot and welds, plug welds in those holes to hold it in place and then around the outside there'll be a heavy bead as well. So it's going to be a big welding project. Uh, not quite ready for that part yet. Still need to get the specialty rods for that, uh, but uh, it's not far off.
have to straighten that drill bit out. Put a little deburring. So right now I'm preparing to weld this mounting plate to here, so I'm just setting up a bit of a, a chamfer on this so that we've got somewhere we want to be after we fill in all of these holes. So I've put about a quarter inch chamfer all the way around. So this bead is not going to be the main element that holds this to the mounting plate. The main element will be those um, 15 large plug welds. So let's get this lined up um, and set up the gas torch to start heating this thing up so we can start welding after lunch. is remarkably accurately centered. Wish I did more welding so I'd have proper welding kit, but well, it's still mostly covered. All right, let's see about getting this starting to preheat. As you can see, these are the plugs that I welded in. Um, 70, 18 rod is not the friendliest thing to weld with. Um, as at this point, it's a couple of days post weld. Still sounds solid, so it doesn't sound like there's any cracks in there. Um, but only time will tell. So this week's job, grind this flat and um, cut the mounting plate ready for it. And then we start cutting other parts for the other half of the, um, the treadle hammer, so the actual backbone and the hammer component. And that's where I'm going to leave it for today, as it's raining and getting really, really noisy. So that's the welding done. I still have to grind off the plugs that I welded in the base. Um, and as you can see, the workshop still looks like a bomb hit it. Um, but I will get to cleaning up after I've ground off those plugs so that I can do the sweeping in one go instead of multiple goes. The next video in this series is going to cover cutting the base plate to size. The base plate is made from 5 8 inch um, jig stock, which I've salvaged. So it's not going to be the most exciting video, but it's the heaviest section stuff that I've cut and I'll be cutting it with an angle grinder, so yeah, it might be interesting. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you subscribed. We are coming up on 500 subscribers. 
for which we'll be doing a giveaway consisting of a square punch forged in the new coal forge on the new anvil that I've mounted um, recently. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be happening very soon. So, as always, get out to your shop, have fun, but do stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.